just a thing. Well, uh, I don't know how this song is going to come out. I know it, uh, it started out pretty long, and then I reduced it, and she reduced it, and I reduced it. And Anyway, it's a story that uh, took place over 14 years. Uh, back in uh, 1997, uh, my wife and I just both uh, retired at 55, and we had uh, big plans for retirement, and we didn't think that they were going to involve going to the hospital several times a week, but uh, that's the way it worked. But there's a 40-page journal that I kept during those 14 years, and uh, this, uh, this song is a little, little bit of a summary of some of the things that happened. Toward the end of the uh, time, uh, I guess, the last nine years I was coming to Vanderbilt at least weekly, uh, sometimes as much as 11 days in a row. Uh, but when, when Marilyn would get hooked up on IV or blood transfusions or platelets or whatever they were pumping into her that particular day, uh, I was free to roam the halls and uh, see if I could help somebody or meet somebody or talk to somebody in the lobby. And I found a real love for that. And uh, uh, toward the end, I got uh, especially uh, close to a fellow... Uh, by the name of Steve McNeil. He was a county agent from Sumner County, and uh, his wife was from Shelbyville also, and I didn't know her until we were down here, but um, his wife called me Mr. Jim, and uh, I had been working with Janice for years, months, months, uh, just as she would send me to talk to men primarily uh, who were going through cancer or whose wives were going through cancer. And uh, I got uh, a, a special uh, good feeling out of talking to them. And it was especially close to Steve McNeil, and, and Brenda would call Janice, and she'd say, Janice, is Mr. Jim coming to the hospital today? Steve wants to talk to him. So she'd call me, and I'd say, give me 30 minutes to wash the cow and the mud off and uh, an hour and a half to get there, and I'll be there. So uh, we... Uh, we became especially close, and Janice uh, was carrying food over to Hope Lodge. I don't know whether anybody in here has ever been to Hope Lodge or not, but uh, some um, she's a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I enjoyed doing that and uh, working with her. And uh, then my wife passed last year, and we kept cooking for Hope Lodge and kept visiting. And uh, so... Um, you know, God, God works, uh, he makes pretty good lemonade sometimes, and uh, we, uh, we don't ever know where he's going to take us, but uh, he'll hold us by our hand, and then uh, he'll give us some good stuff, won't he? We're getting married at the end of the summer. <laughs> See, it is still kind of long, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, this is really nice. It kind of, it's very hymn-like, and um, uh, Jim did a great job. One of the things we talk about in the workshop is being very descriptive and using senses to write, and he did a great job with that. So for those of you who have gone through or are going through this, I think you can relate to a lot of these images that he put in the song, so. All her retirement plans changed on that day Stage four melanoma now stood in the way Tumors near her heart, on her ribs and her spine Lord, please not her body, let it be mine Dark clouds on the horizon, a storm they might bring Heavenly Father, be near us, Father, be near us, Father, be near us, to Thee we must cling. Chemicals in her body could harm her for sure. 
But killing those cells could result in a cure All the treatments, biopsies and tests More tests Weekly cycles at the clinic Left no time for rest Storm clouds coming closer It's a miracle we need Heavenly Father be near us Father be near us Father be near us To Thee we do plead 150 chemo treatments Her bone, her bone marrow was robbed MDS and leukemia wait to finish the job. Blood and platelet transfusions, PET scans and more. Is there gonna be bad news each time through that door? Storm clouds surround us, we need a miracle so bold. Heavenly Father be near us, Father be near us, Father be near us. He let us hold The storm swirls around us It's knocking us out How much more can she take? Please help us, we shout The storm is so violent Our world starts to crumble In fear and exhaustion Please help us, we mumble in the center is calm and her fate is now sealed. Heavenly Father be near us, Father be near us, Father be near us, by your grace are we here. Now the hurricane is quiet as around us it swirls. Up through the center, streets of gold, gates of pearl. The end is now near, her body could not endure. That night she went to heaven, her future secure. A peaceful transition, we were all by her side. Heavenly Father, be near us. Father, be near us. Father, be near us. Comfort us, we cry. Heavenly Father, be near us. Father, be near us. Father, be near us. Comfort us, we cry.